Good day, poker peeps. This is Sky with Smart Poker Study. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to build an online poker HUD in Poker Tracker 4. Now, we're going through this step by step, so it's a really good idea. If you're on your home computer with Poker Tracker 4, pause the video and click along with me. Build the exact same HUD that you're going to see me do because practice with you actually doing the work, it's going to teach you so much more than, of course, just watching this video. Hey guys, Future Sky breaking in here. After I recorded the video, I realized that maybe some of you might not want to actually build your own HUD. You would rather just download this one for free, the one that I've created right here. If that's what you want, go to smartpokerstudy.com slash focus HUD. Fill out the form right there. Give me your email address and your name, and you're going to be able to download this uh, Poker Tracker 4 HUD absolutely for free. Now, take a look on the screen right here. Uh, this is what I call a focus HUD. It helps you focus on one statistic at a time, uh, of a, a statistic of your choice, of course. And in this case, we are focusing on AF or aggression factor. So you can see in the HUD, we have total AF, flop AF, turn, and river AF. Now, I'm not going to teach you anything about the AF stat, but let's just imagine I was a, a player playing online poker, and I want to learn how to use AF to exploit my opponents. This HUD is a perfect way to get you focused on it, thinking about the AF stat for each of your opponents in every hand that you're dealt and every hand that you see them play, even if you fold pre-flop. So step one in this process is to decide on the layout, and we're going to duplicate this HUD exactly right now. Like I said, it's the focus uh, HUD for AF or aggression factor. So in Poker Tracker 4, you're going to go to the HUD option, Edit HUD Profiles. Now then, it's your choice. You can create a brand new profile or duplicate an existing. I always like to duplicate an existing because there's already some stats there that I'm going to use. It makes less work for me. So today, we're going to duplicate the default HUD, and we're going to give it a new name. So right up here under Options, Duplicate Profile. Actually, I, I'm sorry. First, click down to the default HUD right now. So this is what the default Poker Tracker 4 HUD looks like. Options, now duplicate profile. And we're going to give it a very simple name. This is my focus HUD, and this one's going to be built around the statistic AF. Hit OK. You can see we have a brand new name up here, a new profile that we can find. Now you're going to edit the HUD. Start by removing unwanted statistics. We're going to copy this exactly, like I said. Uh, this is the note editor, the player name. Number of hands, VPIP PFR 3 bet, and then total AF, flop turn, and river AF as well. So we'll remove anything unnecessary. Uh, we don't need the C bet flop. So click on it and just hit delete right there. Um, fold to flop C bet, we'll delete it. Live amount to big blinds. This isn't tournament, this is a cash HUD. We don't need that right there. Boom, we have all the stats that we need um, from the original default HUD. Now, the order that I always like, I like to see the note editor up in the top left, as you can see over here. Player name is next, so just click and drag. Hands abbreviated, click, drag that over. Now we have VPIP, PFR, and 3-bet preflop, so we've removed the unwanted ones. What you want to do is rearrange, like we just did, and then change any aspects that you don't like. For me, I don't like this little slash as a separator. So we'll just delete it right there. Bam, it gets removed. Now I'm also going to arrange this in grid. Now the reason for this is because I just like it's more aesthetically pleasing. It keeps everything in nice tight columns and rows for me. No stats kind of overlap, right? Just works. We'll see what that looks like in just a little bit here. So what you'll want to do next is add lines and or any kind of text. So let's start by adding the text for total flop turn and river streets. Add text, total. You could type the whole thing out, but I always like to abbreviate things. Add text, flop. Add text, turn. And then add text, river, right here. All of our streets total, and then street by street action here. Now let's add the statistics. We're going to want to add a line. That's going to add a third line down below. And then we click Add Statistic. Now, when it comes to, this, to finding the statistics, just type in one word or one part of the statistic, 
AF for us right here. Here's the flop AF. Let's double click it to put it in. No need to hit OK and then come back again. We'll just scroll down because they're all AF related stats. So let's do, there's the total AF. There's the turn AF. All I'm doing is double clicking them and then river AF right here. Hit OK. Now you can see river turn. Oh, total is under flop. So let's click it and drag it over to the left. Bam, total flop turn river. Now you can see how this looks a little funny right here. Um, what I would like to do is shift all these over one so that we don't have such a big gap right here. It'll kind of shrink the overall look of the HUD a little bit. So let's go add a bit of text and just hit the space bar. Okay. Let's do the same thing down here. Add text, space bar. Okay. Now let's see what happens when we shift both of these over to here. I'm just clicking and dragging. Click and drag, boom. Kind of clean that up one narrow column beneath the note editor and everything looks a little bit more, uh, more pleasing to the eye, right? Now then, one thing I like, you can notice in this one here, they're directly one above the other. That's because I have them, the alignment centered as opposed to um, alignment on the left. So let's click total, hit the control key on your keyboard, click flop, click turn and then click river that allows you to select all of those texts at the same time an alignment grid instead of to the left let's do the drop down go to the center you can see how all those shifted to the left right there let's do the same thing with these statistics so click on total af control key on your keyboard flop turn river scroll down up here alignment drop down to the center boom made it a little bit more pretty now, for me, you could see I don't like the prefixes be before VPIP and PFR. I see no need to have those. So I'll click on VPIP here, scroll down, delete this, PFR. And for any stat, if you want to add or remove suffixes or prefixes, you can do that. So now we've got VPIP and PFR. Three bet. We're going to go ahead and keep that right now just to really separate uh, uh, the VPIP or these two from the three bet stat. But you can see this is a little small. These are a little bit bigger here. I prefer my statistics a little bit bigger, especially because I mostly play six max games. So I have more room on the table. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click all of these statistics right here. Let's even do the number of hands. So I was hitting control to click them all right here under font. Lots of different options here. I mean, we can even change the font if we want, but let's just go up to size 10, increase that size. You can see how that bumped up a little bit in size, makes it a little bit more uh, visual, easier to read while you're playing here. Now you can see I have some color ranges right here. If you wanna do color ranges, you're gonna have to add them and then save them. And I'll show you how to do that right now. Let's go to total AF. Now to figure out color ranges, um, you can maybe find some example videos online articles, maybe even chapter from a book that talks about high and low and mid range stats. But for AF in particular, and for most other poker tracker four stats, let me show you a really good resource. If you go to pokertracker.com slash videos slash PT4 slash leak tracker, you're going to find 54 leak tracker videos right here. All these videos give you some basic information about the stat, and they also tell you how to use the statistic to exploit your opponents, but also how to use that stat to understand your own play. So let's take a look at AF real quick. Um, for AF aggression factor, we have the statistic description and the stat formula. Now that is going to match exactly in Poker Tracker 4. If you go to configure and uh, statistics, type in AF right here. This is where you can learn within Poker Tracker 4 about all the stats. Flop AF, it's the exact same description right here. The ratio of the times a player makes an aggressive action, a better erase, to the times they call on the flop. If we go down here to total AF, same thing, but it's all the streets, flop, turn, all the post-flop streets, flop, turn, and river. So you get that same information here. But if we actually take a look at the video, one of the things I like about the videos, I'm not gonna play the whole video for you, but we're gonna scroll ahead to about 33 seconds. Short-handed games. So at 33 seconds, it gives us a breakdown here of the average winning players AF, 
broken down by type of game so full ring shorthanded which is six max or heads up and then low or high stakes i play a, a lot of shorthanded low stakes games so it says 1.8 it's to found 4. to be between 1.8 now if this is the range of the average winning player that means it's going to be um uh like the mid range right anything lower than 1.8 are people that or are players that are just a little bit too passive above 4.6 are going to be players very aggressive right so this is kind of like a baseline way to start looking at the color ranges that you want to assign um, instead of going exact to 1.8 and 4.6 i'm going to do a color range in the middle of two to four let me show you how that works so if we go back to the hud editor let's just start with total af right here let's go to color ranges you're going to hit add so from zero to two let's color code this red and the idea behind red is if somebody has an af between zero and two that means they're not all that aggressive not as aggressive as average winning players at the stakes so when they do get aggressive on a street and the color's red you got to be careful because there's a good chance um, that they have a strong hand because they're showing uncharacteristic levels of aggression so from zero to two is red let's add another one let's go from two to four and we'll make this one i like the light yellow color myself as opposed to that brighter yellow and then we'll add another one for uh between four and ten and we'll give it the green color i like this darker green down here so now we'll see this uh in a second when we take a look at a table um but what you want to do next to save this hit new and then enter the name for the color range total af okay oh i already have it i'm just going to overwrite it right and so now it's down here stat total af and it's assigned currently to total af if we go to the flop we could do the same thing just go to the drop down now hit total af right there turn total af river total af boom now all of these are color coded or they all have color ranges now i did the same thing vpip up here i'm not going to show you how to build it but i already have a stat color range saved for vpip i'll just assign it to vpip pfr new use the pfr bam so now let's hit okay focus af is the hud now let's open up that pocket aces again so now that we've created our hud it should look exactly like this one right here um, this is the smart hud let's just change the profile to focus af the one that we just created so you can see that's exactly the same right here um uh, the note editor player name number of hands vpit pfr the three bet percentage and then af across all of the streets so now once you create your HUD, it's up to you. I mean, you created this HUD specifically to learn about a stat, right? You want to use it in game to make reads and exploits and do all you can to learn about the stat. Like I said earlier, find articles, find videos, watch those leak tracker videos in Poker Tracker 4 to teach you everything you can about the stat. Let's take a look at this hand right here. 7426, very loose passive player, seems to get aggressive on the flop right here with a flop AF of five. He limps in a couple of folds. I have pocket aces, super fish, big stack. I want to get all of his chips potentially, right? So I ISO raised to seven big blinds. Oh, surprising. Another fishy player, obviously, 44 big blinds, 45 and 0. But he decides to call seven big blinds fold and then a call as well. So now, before we even see the flop, my goal was to isolate this player. So I should be thinking about, okay, which streets does he get aggressive on and which streets is he honest on with his aggression? And it looks like, I know it's only 23 hands, but it's a start. Um, turn and river, he is a bit honest. He does not get out of line here, but the flop is where he's often capable of bluffing. Um, flop and top set, loving this right here. Check and a check. And I'm betting for value. Um, just want somebody to call or come over the top of course right he folds but our target player who we're thinking about his af he decides to call at a spot where he's normally aggressive so i'm not going to put him on any kind of a draw not a couple of clubs here to blow me off right 
Um, I guess I would kind of maybe discount really strong hands right here, but at the same time, he might be just slow playing, check calling one street. The king of hearts hits, he checks. Now we bet bigger, we're going over half pot because we're trying to get value. I want to get all of his chips in, right? And this is a spot when he's generally honest and look what he does. He raises, he check raises the minimum. I think this means in a spot where he's usually not aggressive, he's getting aggressive, he really likes his hand. I love my top set right here. I know I'm vulnerable, flush draws and straight draws and things like that, but still, I'm going to re-raise him, pop it, and then he shoves in. There's no reason for me to fold. Sure, a 4-5 has me beat, but what are the chances of that right now, right? And even if he does have 4-5 for a straight, I have plenty of outs on that river to hit quads or a full house to beat him. So I decide to call, and then he had that top set. So it really does make sense. Utilizing these numbers right here, he's usually aggressive, but he decided to slow play his set, maybe hoping I had ace-king and he can crack me on that king. He felt his deuces uh, were way ahead of me. So of course, in a spot when he is not aggressive, usually he gets aggressive, and I know um, he's not going to fold the hand. So I came in with that three bet. So I'm just calling and slow playing, right? Alrighty, thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up down below so you can see more videos like this in the future. And of course, get out there right now, build your own HUD, whatever it is, just have an idea for some kind of stat that you want to learn. Doesn't have to be AF, it could be C bet flop, it could be dog flop turn in river, it could be a uh, limping pre flop. Whatever it is, make your own HUD right now and use it to start exploiting your opponents even more than you ever have in the past.